Hello, this is Erica from Blacks and Period Films. Today is day two of the Write It series for Black History Month. Today is February 2nd, 2017, and on January 2nd, 1898, Sadie Tanner Mosley was born. Born to an illustrious family in Philadelphia, Sadie Tanner Mosley Alexander went on to lead a long life full of accomplishments, including many firsts like being the first African-American woman to receive a PhD in economics in 1919, or being the first woman to receive a law degree from the University of Philadelphia Law School, and the first African-American woman to practice law in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania in 1927. We see additionally, she also was chosen as woman of the year in the comic book, Negro Heroes, by the National Urban League in 1948. Her many of her accomplishments are still visible today. Uh, one, especially in the form of a school named after her, named Penn Alexander, and the school is located in West Philadelphia. When I first saw Sadie's picture, the first actor that came to mind was um, China and McLean because of how similar they look. I know everyone sees different features when they look at people and they, some people might think that they don't look the same, but I'll explain why I think that they look similar. They have completely different noses, but aside from that, their eyes are the same. They have similar lips, chin areas, and I also think they both have very high cheekbones. So I think China and McLean would be perfect for this role. Um, now, many people might know her from when she was a cute little girl, and she played in the Tyler Perry series, House of Pain, and the Tyler Perry film, Daddy's Little Girls. But since then, she's on, gone on to do a lot of work for Disney Channel, even having a lead role in the series Ant Farm. She's an adult woman now, and so I think playing Sadie, Aunt Sadie would be a great role for China and McLean because it would allow her to take on an adult role and a meaty role, but she would not have to do anything that might isolate her younger fans. <clears throat> now, beyond her amazing accomplishments, Sadie's family, friendships, and romantic life also have a lot to offer a film or series or novel. Accomplishment-driven biopics are nice, but it would be interesting also to see family and romance-driven period stories involving Black people. So starting with her family, as mentioned before, she comes from a very illustrious family, and they have so many accomplishments that I could do an entire video series on each of them separately, but since I'm focusing on her, I'm just going to give a little bit of tidbits from her family. Her father, Aaron Albert Mosley II was the first African-American graduate of the University of Pennsylvania School of Law. Of course, we know that she followed in his footsteps. Her siblings. Now we see this is her, little Sadie, and her older sister, Elizabeth, became Dean of Women at the Virginia State College, which is a historically black college. Their older brother, Aaron Albert Mosley III, who isn't pictured, um, became a pharmacist in Philadelphia. Her uncle, Nathan Francis Mosley, was the first African-American graduate um, of the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine. And he helped found the Frederick Douglass Memorial Hospital and training school in West Philadelphia in 1895. In addition to her uncle, her aunt, Haley Tanner Johnson, uh, a pharmacist, a phys uh, established the nurses' school and hospital at the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. Um, she was a physician, and she helped found that school. So we see we, she has multiple people in her family that were successful, and um, all of them are really amazing. It clearly runs in her family, the way that they lived their lives. And I think a family saga would be an interesting series to watch. Beyond her family, we have her friendships. We see this picture to the left. She attended high school in Washington, D.C., um, the M Street School, which is a really famous school for young Black people at this time. She went to Dunbar High School and graduated, which is now called Dunbar High School, by the way. 
and she graduated in 1915. Um, during her time in high school, she lived in Washington, D.C. with her uncle, Louis Baxter Moore, who interestingly was the dean at Howard University. So her life during her high school years would also be an interesting film. Um, watching her go through high school with her friend and her uncle as the dean of the, the, the nearby university. We see this picture to the right is her doing her time in college. And she was the first national, national president of, Del, of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. And she was the president from 1919 to 1923. We see her and her group of friends. They, they're so nicely dressed and so poised and put together. A film about them would be great. I really, really love to see them in the fashions of the periods, you know, getting boyfriends, losing boyfriends, passing tests, failing tests, you know, having arguments, making up, dancing, having fun. That would be a great and entertaining film or even a series about their time in college. And lastly, romance. Now, what is a period film without romance? And she had um, a big romance in her life with the love of her life, Raymond Pierce Alexander. They met during their time at Penn Pennsylvania University. They met, fell in love. And unlike her, he had been born in a working class family. And this, however, did not stop him from achieving great things. He went on to attend the University of Pennsylvania on a merit scholarship. So I think the dynamic between him being from a working class family and her being from like a, a more elite family would be interesting to see in a, a period film that's romance centered. Uh, he was the first black graduate of the Wharton School of Business in 1920, and he went on to go to Harvard Law School in 1923. What I found also interesting is that a lot of times in period films, the husband does not want the wife to work. But in their case, it seems as if he encouraged her because after he went to law school, she went to law school too. And um, she entered his practice, his law practice, after she got admitted to the Pennsylvania bar. Um, they worked together and were active in estate, family, and civil rights law. So they worked together as a team. And we can see that that was successful because years later, they were still married until their old age. And look at this picture down here. Look at how she's looking at him. Clearly, she loves him. Here's a picture with their children and their family surrounding them, their children in the back. They're, they were so in love. And that would be a wonderful romance period film to have. Um, so whether you want to do a saga about her family, whether you want to talk about her friendship or her time in college, or whether you want to go from the angle of her romance. Sadie Tanner Mosley Alexander led an amazing life, and I really want to see something with her in it or with a woman like her in it. So she led a great life, now go and write it.